Hey guys, I just want to show you how to do a remote VNC on your Mac. It's probably the same setup for your PC. I'm just going to show you guys on a Mac. So what you have to do is first you have to download the application on your Droid or any Android phone that you're having. For this example, I'm going to use remote VNC, which is my personal favorite, and I haven't bought the Pro yet, but I'll show you how to download it. So once you get into Android Market, you can pretty much just look up VNC and then once it search it's for me it's the first one remote VNC Lite, and that's the one I'm using for this tutorial but you can also buy the pro after you've used the light and see if you like it so once you have it downloaded you can just open the app we don't really need to use it right now all we need to do is set up the Mac side so what you do is you go to the sharing and you open up screen sharing you click on that and it activates once you you have the green light everything is good just click computer settings and put in your password once you have that done uh, you have to make sure you're on the same network just going on the droid just going to settings going to wireless controls and for me I just turn off the network uh, mobile network just so it doesn't get confusing and then going to Wi-Fi settings and then just joining the network that you're on make sure they're both on the same network and they're both connected to the same router so once you have that set up, you're pretty much on the pretty much ready to go. So you just go into VN, remote VNC and just go to add. And then the host is going to be the IP address of the computer you're going to screen share. Minus 192.168.2.8. So you're just going to type that into the host and then the port, leave it, and then for the password, you're going to put in the password that you put for the computer settings, the VNC viewer password. So once you have that done, just close the keyboard and just hit the back button. And then as you see, I have it right here. And then I just hit it. And then it says, let me connect. And there you go. I'm now looking at the same screen twice. All right. If you guys want to uh, do it over 3G network or any other Wi-Fi network, you can do it this way. Once you get the IP address of your computer, going to ipchicken.com, it will show your IP address, your current IP address. That might change depending on where you're going, so make sure if you change a network, you change your router, make sure you're change, looking at your IP address if you're ever changing. So once you get your IP address, you're going to go into the remote VNC. This is after we set up the computer, so you already have the screen sharing enabled. You don't really have to do anything else on the computer, as long as it's connected to the internet. So you can close your settings and go to remote VNC, go to add, and then put the host name as your IP. So your IP address is your host name. So just type in your IP address, type in the same password, and then close it, and then just do then you hit the back button. And then you should have it on the list. And then you can just connect. It's a little bit slower, but it still works. So, yeah, so now you have it running off of the 3G network. You can check your computer status anywhere. So, it's pretty cool. See you guys.